Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how you can create the HDR look from a single RAW file in Lightroom. Alright, so HDR means high dynamic range. So obviously the first thing you want to do is create a high dynamic range situation. Very easy thing to do, just bring up the shadows and bring down the highlights. And you already have kind of the rough HDR look. So then another very important thing is clarity. In your typical HDR image you will see a lot of clarity. So just crank up that slider and you will end up with a pretty good HDR look already. But there is still a little bit more to it. Vibrance and saturation slider are very important. Uh, you can go with either one here. Uh, I generally like the vibrant slider a little bit more, but if that's not enough, you can go down to the saturation slider as well. And you know, the classic HDR picture is very, very vibrant. And so that is a great way how you can achieve that look. And another very important thing is to bring the contrast to the right. Uh, you know, that way you really get an even more distinctive HDR look. So personally, I'm really not a big fan of the HDR look but it's really easy to achieve in Lightroom and you know this is how you do it and if that is still not enough you can just grab an adjustment brush make sure that your density is to 100 and then just grab a very very big adjustment brush I'm gonna press O here so you can see the actual mask and just draw over the entire picture press O again so the mask disappears and you know just bring the clarity to the right and maybe even contrast to the right as well and it's really that way you get a very very dramatic HDR look and if that is still not enough you can go to your adjustment brush right click duplicate if that's still not enough right click duplicate right click duplicate and I mean, you know, would I really suggest you do that? Probably not. But if you're just like, want to go for the maximum effect as possible for whatever reason, here's how you do it. So let me show you how it looks with another picture. Here we have another photo, raw file, not any adjustments. Just bringing up the shadows, bringing down the highlights, bringing the clarity to the right bringing the contrast to the right and increasing the vibrance and maybe even saturation and in this case the sky is a little bit too bright despite we bringing down the highlight slider so much so you can just grab graduated filter drag it over the sky and bring down the exposure so you really get this very HDR-ish look and I mean if we see here before and after I mean this is kind of not so much overdone like the other picture but you know I don't really like this look but if you like the HDR look then I think that is a pretty good way to achieve it and really really simple very easy thank you very much for watching have a great day and take care